This video should be required viewing for anyone who owns a rotary engine car. Period. Rotary drivers, wanna suck less? Stop blowing up your engines! The reputation of rotary engines as being unreliable is completely unfair, undeserved, and entirely your fault. Because, with a little care, they could be just as reliable as piston engines. What if I told you that with a few simple modifications to both you and your car, you could greatly extend the life of your rotary engine? Yeah, that's right, no more change engine lights, no more mourning over lost apex seals. The ignorance ends here. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I talk about how to make your rotary engine reliable, it's important to discuss how rotary engines work, and what makes them so unreliable when treated poorly. In a regular engine, you have pistons, which are a reciprocating mass, slapping back and forth over and over to spin the crankshaft, a rotating assembly, which, with some magic and unicorn farts, eventually makes the wheels spin. Now, in a Wankel rotary engine, the entire engine is the rotating assembly. Instead of pistons, you get these huge 3D Doritos that spin around inside an oval-shaped rotor housing. This is where combustion takes place, and the Doritos are attached directly to the eccentric shaft, which is just like a crankshaft, only- WHAT THE F- Because the engine internals are always spinning, and because the engine is constantly sucking in air and fuel, squeezing it tightly, banging it with the spark plugs, and blowing the waste gases out the other side, there needs to be a way to make sure all the parts of the combustion cycle stay separate. Otherwise, bam, the engine doesn't work. Meet the apex seals. At the three tips of the rotors, there's these tiny little seals, maybe two to three millimeters thick. If the apex seals fail, kaboom. And they're bound to fail. These guys are always touching and rubbing up against the inside of the rotor housing, and eventually, they get worn out from all the heat and friction. This is one of the great failings of the rotary engine. Mazda knew this and designed the rotary engine to shoot oil inside the rotor housings to keep the apex seals alive, but it doesn't really work. Parts of the rotor housing get lubricated very well, while others don't. Eventually, kaboom. Hence the rotaries burn oil myth, and hence the 80,000 mile rebuilds thing. The other thing about rotary engines is that they run ridiculously high. They overheat very easily, and this is because of how they deal with exhaust. Rotaries dump their exhaust gases as fast as they can. If they held it in too long, the exhaust would push the engine backwards, and there goes all your power. The exhaust doesn't get to cool down on the way out of the combustion combustion chamber like it does in a piston engine, and this means lots and lots of heat. This is bad because the coolant seals in the rotary engine are very sensitive. Pretty much, if you ever overheat the engine, pop go the coolant seals. Because the seal is gone, coolant rushes into the Dorito chamber and kaboom. Alright, enough of that. Here are the secrets to rotary reliability. Top tip number one, upgrade and take care of your cooling system. Don't want your rotary to overheat and explode? Get a bigger radiator and tend to your cooling system. A bigger radiator helps keep the engine temperature in a safe zone and makes it less likely that it'll overheat. No matter how big the radiator is, the cooling system can't do its job well if parts of it are in bad shape. Replace janky hoses! Fix coolant leaks as ASAP as possible! Patch that gaping hole in your antifreeze overflow bottle! And for the love of god, stop the car immediately if it does start running hot! Top tip number two! Pre if you don't want to go cry to mommy about your apex seals, put two-stroke engine oil in your gas tank whenever you fill up. Yeah, this is something you have to remember to do, and yeah, it does sound kind of weird, but believe it or not, it helps. Because the engine's oil metering pump doesn't put enough oil in the rotor housings, apex seals go boom at 80,000 miles. But dump a few ounces of two-stroke oil in your gas, and now your fuel injection system lubricates the apex seals and rotor housings. Oil gets everywhere inside there and prevents prevents premature oh, 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 oh. This also helps clean the inside of the engine, which is nice. There is some debate as to how much oil you should use, but a safe bet is usually a half an ounce per gallon of gas. And if you live in a state that does emissions testing, make sure you don't use premix when you go to get your car tested, or surely you will fail. And because I know somebody's gonna ask, no, this is not a replacement for regular oil changes. Change your car's oil at the manufacturer's recommended intervals. That is all. Brap on, rotor heads. <laughs>